tutorial to teach you how to find your position using an ADF indicator. The term ADF stands for Automatic Direction Finder. This is a receiver indicator. You also have a transmitter station, which is called a non-directional beacon. This is a ground-based station. The ADF indicator is indicated by a dual needle indicator. The solid white needle is the radio compass. The dual-headed needle is the ADF indicator. This indicator always points to the station. The solid needle, as I said, is the radio compass. This will always point to your compass heading. So here we are flying along and we're horribly lost and want to find our position. There is a formula that you use to determine your position and that being your true airspeed, and in this case it's miles an hour. You take your true airspeed times the number of minutes flown between your bearing change. That sum is divided by the degrees of bearing change and that will give you your position. For this exercise, you'll need a watch with a stopwatch function, a calculator, an IFR plotter or protractor, and a printed hard copy of the map. We're going to stop the clock when the dual needle is clearly in line with the next hash mark on the gauge. It's important to remember that when you are checking your position using the bearing change method, you must have the ADF indicator perpendicular to your heading. For example, if your aircraft heading is due north and the ADF is on your left, it should be pointing somewhere around 270 or 090. In other words, it must be perpendicular to it when you hack the time to start your bearing change. Keep in mind that the longer it takes you to do this calculation, the farther your aircraft will be moving down line. So when you do look at it, you know, note the bearing that you were on at the time that you made this uh, calculation and fly a constant true airspeed and heading. We'll maintain the current heading and speed until the dual headed needle has passed through five degrees of bearing change. The degrees of bearing change is up to you. Whatever you wish to use, you may use, but that will be the denominator. time to do the simple calculation. Our hack time was a minute and 53 seconds and that equates to 113 seconds. Now we divide the 113 by 60. This equates to 1.8 minutes. We multiply the 1.8 minutes by the true airspeed. In this case it's 236. And this equates to 444.4. We divide that 444.4 by the five degrees of bearing change and come out with 88.8 .8 miles. We're therefore approximately 89 miles from the station. And looking at our ADF gauge, it tells us that we're on the 225 bearing. So you just track out from the 225 bearing for 88 miles and you'll find which grid you're on. Now we look at our printed map and calculate the grid square that we're in. Take your instrument plotter, lay it over the station straight out the 225 bearing for 88 miles and it'll show you which grid you are in. It appears that we're located somewhere in grid square Kilo 11. Now let's check the game map to see if our calculations were on the money. Now this pretty much marks the end of the tutorial that Warbucks and Archangel had put together. We hope it's been informative and if there is anything else that you do need to know, especially about learning how to fly an ADF or track a bearing, 
don't hesitate to ask. I am sure that there are some pilots that are in the F.A. squadron that can also help. In any event, happy flying and keep abreast of your position.